What about not working on the Sabbath? Now, if I'd written this one, I don't want to keep my commandments pithy and succinct so people would remember them. I'd, I'd have just put, if I'd cared about this, I don't. I'd have put, no one and nothing can work on the Sabbath. That's the whole thing covered, right? Let's see if God can be as succinct. Uh, observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy as the Lord your God commanded you. For six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. You shall not do any work. It's over-explained, I would say. It's sli- slightly patronizing. I think God thinks you're stupid. You're not going to get that unless he explains it in three different ways. If he was going to use that many words, it might have been useful if God had clarified if the Sabbath was Saturday or Sunday. That would have been a useful use of his word. I don't know if it was necessary for God to name check himself twice within that relatively short commandment. He's like a rapper, isn't he? Making sure you know who came up with it. The Lord your God came up with this commandment. And just paranoid, insecure God. It's clear what he means, though. Uh, what he means is no one or nothing can work on the Sabbath, like I said, do you remember? Better than God, because I have the decency, to, I have enough respect for you. I prepared this in advance. I worked out the easiest way of saying that. God didn't care. Just, uh, anyway, it's clear what he means. No one or nothing can work on the Sabbath. That's all you need to say. It's not necessary now to make a list of some of the people and things that can't work on the Sabbath. I mean, that would just be confusing. At this, A partial list It's just going to confuse you. Hold on, if something's not on the list, are they now allowed to work? He said no one can work. That's, that covers everything, right? You don't need to make a list. Nobody would make a list. God makes a list. Uh, here's, here's God's list. Uh, you, you can't work. I'd say that was covered. When you in, in you shall not do any work, I, I can't work out the tone here. I can't work out the tone of voice. Is he being patronising? It could be that. Is he just forgetful? Maybe he's just forgotten what he just said. I don't know. Is it sarcastic? I don't know. It could be. It could be a big joke. That would make more sense of this. I don't know what tone of voice to read the Ten Commandments. And it needs some emoticons. That's why I think. They'll just help us. Is that one there? Is that God giving us a little wink there? Go, no, nah, that's right. I'm just kidding. Just... Maybe. So you can't work. Good to have that covered. Uh, or your son. Your son, of course, he's a personal thing, but... Good to have that clarified. Uh, or your daughter, is God going to list every possible relation there? Is he going back uh, to a thousand generations with this one? Because this could take some time. Just put no one can work. That's all you need. Uh, or your male or female slave. <laughs> That's considerate, God, isn't it? That's nice of him to give the slaves a day off from their slaving. They, they must have loved God, the slaves. Say what? We only have to be slaves six days of the week. Now you're, I don't believe you. You're the best God ever. This is amazing. To be honest, I'm so used to slaving all the time. I don't know what I'll do with all that free time. Eh? Are we allowed to build a pyramid for our own use? That's all I know. Is that work? Is, is, is it necessary God to put male or female in there? Just slave covers the whole thing, right? It's just... Even bringing up the gender seems slightly creepy to me. It's a bit weird. And, and it begs the question, I've got an hermaphrodite slave. Are they allowed to work? I've, I've got a eunuch. Can I send him out in the field? The minute you make a list, it becomes confusing. Where's he going next? Or oh, your ox. <laughs> your, your ox. Your ox can't work on this. Your ox can't work on this. Your ox. To be honest, despite my arrogance earlier on, I'm quite glad God put that in there because I don't think I would have thought of my ox on my own. Um, I wouldn't want my ox going to hell. Um, not for that particular crime, anyway. Oh, anyways, where's he going next? Or oh, your donkey is God seriously going to list every animal in the- Your llama can't work. Your penguin can't work. Your brontosaurus can't work. If Jurassic Park ever comes true, you know what I mean? Make sure they don't work. Your cat can't work. I mean, I know your cat never does any work, but if you ever see it picking up a spade on a Sunday, knock that out of his paw! Go, what are you thinking? Haven't you read the Ten Commandments? Do you want to go to hell, Oscar? It's Sunday. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe uh, M- Moses must be there going, what's going on, God? Are you, are you listing every animal in the world? I'm getting chisel cramp here, dude. Move it along. Just, just put no one can work on the Sabbath. That's all you need to put. God realises he's made a mistake. He's dug himself into a hole here. And it's hard to see a way out of this without listing every animal in the world. He has to think on his feet now to get out. He's like Michael McIntyre trying to find a way out. Yeah, find a way out of this. How's he going to... To be honest, the, the way he comes out of this, this is a... He, he can't go back on this. This is written in stone, literally. So he has to think... He has to work out what to, The way he gets out of this is, is very impressive, I have to say. You're, you're thinking... You'd just be listing animals to a kingdom come, wouldn't you, mate? That's, all, that's your only way forward. God gets out. Look, this is brilliant. Or any of your livestock. That, that is genius. That is genius. But God, I, think, I think you've got to prepare the Ten Commandments. That might have come six words earlier. Save the spare time. He's definitely making up as he went along. Or he just put no one can work on the Sabbath. I'm including animals in that, even cats. That's, that's as long as it needs to be. <laughs> this next bit is really weird. I generally can't get my head around this at all. Or the resident alien in your town. Sir. <laughs> all the things you could be worried about. Work. 
ranking on a is so high up the list and it's so specific. He hasn't even said if my wife's allowed to work. Uh, God, uh, before we go on to the before the uh, go on to the aliens living amongst us and their working conditions, which I concede is important. Um, is my mum allowed to work? I don't see my mum's name. I'm confused. If my mum isn't allowed to work, could you just put Barbara Herring next on the list? Oh no, that's it. Just seems to be aimed at Mork from Mork and Mindy. Is that that? I think after this day, Barker, God has learned a few lessons. He's thinking, if I ever do ten more commandments, I'm going to prepare them in advance. I'm so badly hungover. I'm going to work this. I'm never, I'm not going to wing it again. That was a mistake. <laughs> then he's thinking, he's thinking, keep them succinct, keep them pithy. That's what he's thinking. And the main thing he's thinking, don't make another list. That's the mistake he made there. That was the biggest mistake. And to be fair, for the next three or four commandments, God is on blistering form, I have to tell you. They're, they're brilliant commandments. When you realise he is making these up as he goes along, they're really good. They're really pithy. There's no meat on them. It's all you can't kill. You can't steal. That's all it is, and the proper ones that are worth obeying. Most of them aren't. Those ones are pretty good. But by the Tenth Commandment, he's lost it. He's got carried away again. That's the one about not coveting stuff. Now, uh, if I'd written this one, I'd just put, you're not allowed to covet things. That's all you need. No, I'd have put, covet nothing. I could have done this in two words. Let's see if God can be as pithy as me. Uh, let's see if he can name that commandment in one. No, neither should you cover your neighbour's wife, OK? He's going the roundabout route on this, you may have noticed. I'd say if that needed any clarification, it would be, is it OK to cover the wife of the bloke? Two doors down. That's, that's the element of confusion. For me, God isn't worried about that, though. Uh, neither should you desire your neighbour's house, right? I mean, you could just put, uh, cover nothing. I mean, don't make a, another list. You remember what happened the last time you made a, a list? Orfield, he's forgotten about the list. It was, it was four minutes ago, but he's forgotten... He slipped his mind. Uh, where's he going next? Or oh, male or female slave, he's obsessed. What's wrong with him? He's obsessed with slaves and unnecessarily mentioning their gender in what I consider to be a prurian manner. If I'd been God, I'd have been tempted to make one of my commandments. You can't have slaves. That's clearly evil. God is condoning slavery. He's saying it's fine to have slaves. Don't let them work on a Sunday, mate. Obviously, that would be nuts. Uh, six days a week of slaving is fine. I think maybe you'd like to make that one of his commandments. But, you know, he's he only allowed ten. That's the number. And he's wasted a few early on. I think he would admit, admit it himself. Some of the early ones are a bit rubbish. He's thinking, oh, why did I do that one about don't take my name in vain? What a waste. God, what a prick. Uh, has he learned anything? Let's see if he's learned anything. Or oh, ox, he's for God. God, it was four minutes ago. Any of your livestock, don't you remember? Or donkeys, for God. He's a forgetful God. Come on, hey, look, he's really old. Oh, come on, give it. He might have Alzheimer's disease or something. It's not funny. Come on, let it. He invented the universe, okay? What have you done lately? Nothing. He invented the universe. His early work is brilliant. He hasn't done much lately, but come on, have some respect. He is God. Uh, and to be honest, the way he gets out of this is, now he remembers, and the way he gets out of this is astonishing. I improvise a lot in my work, but um, I have to take my hat off to God. Because you're thinking any of your lives, so that's what you're expecting to see, right? You're an idiot. You'll never be God, mate. Why don't you just give up on this delusions you have? Because th this, is, this is amazing. He doesn't just get out of the animals. Everything look amazing. Or anything that belongs to your neighbour. That, that is genius. But if God had planned the Ten Commandments, don't think that might come at the beginning of that one. So uh, I think we should know the Ten Commandments. That they're a load of shit. Uh... They are, they're useless. They're, God had a position, he had this chance to hand down to the human race ten rules for us to live our lives by, ten commandments, you know. He wastes the first four just about himself and how brilliant he is. It seems, if he thought out in advance and prepared, he could have clarified some big issues like, is it okay for gay people to stay in bed and breakfast? I mean, that would have been <laughs> useful. Anyway, that night in Chad, by the side.